Hi everyone, I'm Hatomo from Michigan State University. I'm the first author of this paper who is on Unbiased Learning to Rank. First, let us give a in brief introduction on the Unbiased Learning to Rank task. Uh, so the Learning to Rank task is frequently appear like in the web system and search systems. So the Learning to Rank it aims to rank the document with a higher relevance to the queries into a higher position. For example, the most relevant document should be put on the first place. But such kind of learning to rank, we need the ground truth relevance, but it's very hard to achieve in the real world data set. And then people, instead of using this kind of true relevance score, they use a click as the supervised signal. However, the click can be biased. So then the unbiased learning to rank can be a very important topic. Uh, and the unbiased learning to rank in the motor kind of task, they only view like the prediction as the only page presentation features and the only source of bias. But such kind of stuff is not aligned with the real world scenarios. There are more predictions than predictions in the real world scenarios. So, in the so we propose a new scenario called the whole page ambassador to learn to rank, as we consider like the multimedia type, ranking position, height, and the SCRP features to the top screens. Uh, we require an uh, ambassador to rank algorithm to not only mitigate the prediction bias but also other bias simultaneously. And such kind of algorithm we require like an algorithm first to find the bias automatically from multiple SCRP features, and we need an algorithm to mitigate all those bias simultaneously. Uh, so far, this is a pipeline. So we first do the code discovery and estimate the probabilities, and then we use a, a backdoor adjustment to align the model. And then let's see the experiments. So in the first part, we show the main experiments. So as we can see, our method called BAL. So we have a much better performance than previous algorithms, which only focus on this kind of precision bias. And the second thing is like, we check between those kind of high frequent queries and those kind of tail frequent queries. So we think actually our performance is really good at this kind of high frequency query, which has more performance gain in the real world scenarios. And also, uh, uh, we check this kind of causal graph to see whether we really mitigate those bias. So you can see at first, actually, this, the multimedia type and the position, they are the bias for it. But in the end, actually, the bias and the backdoor are mitigated. From this experiment, we do some ablation studies. Like uh, for one, we know like two of them are the bias source of the task. And so we only mitigate one bias, but we can see there is no significant performance gain. And mitigate all the bias simultaneously leads to a larger performance gains. And thanks for listening to this presentation.